Hey, this is the video that's going to deal with uh, solving for X and proportions. What you need to do first of all is download the worksheet here that has uh, boot camp remediation for proportions. And then uh, look at number one. See if you can solve number one or you can watch this video to walk you through it. Uh, the first thing you need to remember is that when you're doing proportions, you're going to always cross multiply when you have two fractions equal to, equal to each other. Now this only works when you have one fraction equal to one fraction. If there was a plus six after this fraction, n over 10, you would not be able to continue. So since this is by itself, we're going to multiply, cross multiply. And what you remember when you cross multiply is that the, each of the pair of products are going to equal each other. Okay, so when you do that, then you're going to have 10 times 10 equals 8 times n. And then basically the 10 times 10 turns into 100. You divide by 8 and you get 100 divided by 8, which then turns into 12.5. So hopefully that problem wasn't too hard. But now what I would like you to do is take it more toward a question that was like what you had in the test. And that is where you have to um, look at solving for x when you have an x squared in it. Okay? So this question is number two. If you would like to, please pause the video and see if you can finish the question from here. And then we'll pick up and then show you how to do it. So try it on your own first. Okay, now that we're back, hopefully you've had a chance to notice that we do have two, two uh, fractions equal to each other, which makes a proportion. When you cross multiply, the products are going to be 7 times 3 and 5 times x squared. 7 times 3 is 21, and you have equals 5x squared. When you divide both sides by 5, you're going to have then x squared equals 4.2. Uh, the thing that you may have forgotten on the test again, and is a good reminder again too before you take the next test, is to remember that whenever you have x squared equals some number, or x squared in an equation that you're trying to solve for x, you're going to have two, more than likely two answers. And you, if it's like this, you are going to have two answers. There's always a positive number you can square and a negative number you can square to get the answer that's over here. The only time you're going to get one answer is when the x squared equals zero, and that's just zero as itself. But otherwise, you're going to get two answers, a positive and a negative, every time. So. What you need to look at then is if you've looked at square rooting both sides, that the answer to the square root of 4.2 is uh, 2.0494. And just remember again that it's plus or minus because you can square a positive or you can square a negative to get the same answer of 4.2 on this side right here. Hopefully you were success successful at doing this and uh, good luck in the future.